but most people think that they can do it by acquiring more knowledge by studying and uh, through this study they can raise their consciousness well a part of it is true you begin to study if you're reading books or you're sitting with different teachers and practicing you have a practice but the practice you go through or what you're studying um, that you go through basically ultimately it comes to this this part this point is that I can sit down and read all kinds of spiritual books and go to see to a lot of different workshops. Uh, I get all these ideas and concepts from different uh, books and, and teachers or gurus uh, that, I, that I get and I can start practicing some of it. And now, if I'm doing a lot of different things, it can get very, very confusing. So, and uh, can become very frustrating because some of them are, are contradict each other. And then all of a sudden, I'm spending a lot of time during the day doing various kind of um, rituals and practices. So, uh, and ultimately can create a lot of frustration. Down, down the line so or I can take a different and then I'm reading a lot of different books I'm getting the opinions and ideas of all these different people teachers gurus masters that they're offering their way of seeing it things and but it comes to a point that you have to put everything else away and basically narrow things down to one thing because if you're really reading different things from different teachers and you're as you're going forward you're narrowing things down and see like which one of these uh, things that you're studying they really you feel a resonance with you have to see where it, where what is it that boosting you up what part of it is really giving you the energy that motivates you to go forward with this particular type of teachings okay and as you're narrowing things down and you're going after something that is really feeding your soul it feels right and just keep in mind that things can change in the future and whatever you're studying today or whatever school of uh, spirituality you're after at one point it can change in the future to something else but basically we're talking about now and where you're at so the number one thing is that which is a very very difficult uh, and scary part for most people on the planet because most people on the planet it's very easy for them to get into a school of spirituality and mimic the words and repeat what they've learned from the teacher and pointing out finger fingers at other people that other people are unconscious or they're not doing what they should be doing or the government is unconscious or politicians are crooks and thieves and and this is wrong with the system and that is wrong with the system blah 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 that's one aspect of it is like i'm becoming more aware but i'm just pointing out finger at other people and people around me, my family, my friends. But the challenge is that in raising your own consciousness is number one is to look at yourself, which is very scary. 
it's always very easy to point out finger at other people, other things, or my partner is unconscious, or uh, my parents are unconscious, or um, the community I'm a part of is this and that. It's very easy to do that. But it's always you want to start with yourself and to really come outside of yourself and really look at yourself from the outside and pay attention to your own um, behavior. Examine yourself. Every once in a while, pause, stop, and come out of yourself and look at yourself from the outside. And examine your, the way you react. Examine your own behavior and examine your own motives and examine to see that on this spiritual path that you're in, and if you're advancing or you're learning more, pay attention to see how much you are unconsciously looking for someone to admire you. How much unconsciously you're seeking some affirmation from other people saying that, oh wow, you're getting really conscious, you're really becoming amazing. And that, you can attribute that to your mind. ego wants to be headed and to say, wow, you're really amazing. So, or looking at yourself, for example, in, in some weak areas that we it's very easy to see where you're at in your consciousness for example how much tolerance do you have for waiting to wait okay you have to wait for you order some food you're in a restaurant or somewhere and now you have to wait for the food to come and you're you're hungry and you're agitated Maybe your blood sugar has dropped and now you're getting angry or you get the food you like, but something's missing and now you're, you're ready to kill. You're upset. So, and you know, you've been reading all these great books. You have read a lot of wonderful spiritual books. Uh, you've been attending a lot of workshops. You're working on yourself. You're very proud of yourself, but now you, you're ready to cut off uh, the waitress's head or your waiter's head because he made a mistake. Or especially when it comes to food, or you're in a, you're, you are, you, you're going to breakfast, you're in a um, hotel, and it's an all you can eat buffet. And, and just pay attention how all of a sudden everyone's shoving each other around or they're trying to get to the food faster than you or they're agitated or you're agitated. See how much patience you have to let someone ahead of you. That's one thing. Another thing you can examine yourself is when you're driving or you want to park your car when you're driving, are you fighting with people on the street? Whatever somebody does that it's not pleasing you, are you calling them names or you're honking the horn or you're getting angry at them? Um, if you have to park spot, you're, you found a parking spot, you're about to park your car in, and somebody takes your, your spot. It was yours, but somebody took your spot. And Pay attention to yourself that all of a sudden you can see you're in rage, you're angry, you roll your window down, you're calling them names. Sometimes people want to get out of their car and, and get in a fight. There are reports that people have been shot. Somebody shot somebody else. You want to look at yourself 
in these places to see where you're at because these are the places showing you where you're at. 